I absolutely love coats, and today I'm telling you about one of my new favorites from Defense Mechanisms. Like I said, I just generally like jackets and coats and bags and things with compartments and all sorts of stuff. Those that know me know that, uh, you know, it's just kind of what I like. Like for example, like with my side-by-side, -side, I picked that one because I could put all these little different compartments and stuff. Well, with a jacket, it's just kind of one of those accessory things that you generally need to have in Minnesota and it's, you know, nice to have a nice one. And I have to say, I really do like these uh, coats. Uh, it's a jacket. I, I, I should really learn the difference between a coat and a jacket. But anyways, my name is Dave Tim from Guns and Tactics. Thank you very much for spending a few minutes of your day checking out my review of the Defense Mechanisms Helion Jacket and Type B Pullover. Now I am kind of doing a two for one, even though technically they are two separate products, they're made out of the same material. And uh, function wise, you know, they're a little different versus why you'd wear a jacket versus a pullover. But overall, I'm gonna share some of my experiences as well as kind of my wish list for what I would like to see a like maybe a Mark II version of the pullover. So a little bit of background. Uh, I don't have any relationship with the company. I met the founders of the company at a training class a few years ago. We hit it off. They said they were gonna be coming out with some more firearms related stuff. They have a background in outdoors equipment, camping equipment, things like that, all made in Minnesota, made in the United States with United States source materials, really nice stuff. And they said they're looking to get more into like the firearms and you know, kind of tactical uh, product market. So enter their company called Defense Mechanisms and uh, I actually ordered and paid for both of these. I did buy these. This is my actual honest review. I'm not getting paid or anything like that. And I'm gonna share with you my thoughts. Now, first things first, the material. I just wanna talk right about that right away. I've been using both of these for uh, the camel one, uh, probably close to two years-ish. And then this one, you know, this winter, maybe a little bit into the fall as well. The material is super lightweight, but yet very warm. Now I wanna make sure I get the materials right. It is a two ounce per square yard of Climashield Apex insulation, which performs better than down in wet and humid conditions, dries quickly, packs small, easy to clean. And then it also does have a durable, lightweight nylon fabric that has a DWR finish. I have no idea what that means, but I'm assuming some sort of water resistance. Here's what I just really like about these. As this particular one, the pullover, uh, I've traveled with this numerous times when I've been teaching classes. When I teach, I don't know what type of weather I'm gonna come across. It could be nice one day, but then it could turn into wet and snow and sleet and whatever else. So having a nice warm layer that's lightweight and easily packable, this thing has been absolutely awesome. I've used it when I've been out four-wheeling. Again, because it's lightweight, it's small, I can easily throw it in like a bag or something like that. And then if it starts to get cold, throw this on. And I've been really happy with the warmth. Now I'm a firm believer in layering. If you're not layering, you're missing out. Uh, and obviously, you know, this could be under a hard shell really well, but you know, taking a look at this, uh, it basically feels like a sleeping bag and I can roll it up and compress it into a very small portion of like my pistol case or a suitcase or whatever it might be. And it doesn't, you know, really matter. So uh, overall, I really do like it. Now let's start with the pullover. Uh, pullover has a large kangaroo pocket and it does have a drawstring, which you can access, I believe it's in the pocket, which is where the little cord, the shock cord is. Now, one thing I will say right off the bat, I don't like, maybe not don't like is a, a harsh term, but one thing I like better on the jacket is the drawstring or side impl implementation, implementation on the jacket versus the pullover. The pullover does have a cord that goes all the way around that you can tighten up so you could wear it like, you know, above your belt or something like that, which is nice. Uh, but we'll talk about a feature in the jacket that I like better. Uh, you can order the sleeves with a patch section. So if you wanted to add patches and then what's nice now is they do have a duty option, which if you select that, it adds a badge tab and radio tabs. So for the LE guys out there looking to wear something under a carrier or something like that, uh, very nice option there. Uh, as far as the zippers, the zipper poles are all cord type with some shrink tubing for a very you know durable zipper. The actual zippers themselves are YKK zippers and I had no issues with the zipper. Uh, not a lot of branding, just a very small tag on the back, 
It doesn't scream whatever logo or anything like that. So I really did like that. And as far as like your logo, then you can put whatever patches and stuff you want on there to represent the brands that you want. But overall, I really like the pullover. It's just a nice, simple garment. The only complaint um, I have is the drawstring and I wish it had the jacket type side panels and stretch. So let's talk about the jacket. Here's the jacket, and it does come in a variety of colors. Both of them do, by the way. The full colors are available on the webpage, but it's basically uh, black, ranger green, coyote, multicam, and wolf gray. So I'm gonna be ordering, uh, hopefully, another pullover and maybe wolf gray, and I'm gonna see if they can't customize it a little bit for me. But the jacket is very similar. That same nice, lightweight, sleeping bag, comfort, feel material, uh, soft on the inside. But the jacket obviously then has a full zip, and again, the same zipper pulls the cord with the shrink tube there. Uh, you can get it with patch panels. Here's what I really like about the jacket is it does have these nice, stretchy side sections here. Now, these are made of PolarTech hard-faced fleece, and this allows for better ventilation when worn on their, like, you know, plate carriers and stuff like that, and it also adds a little bit of stretch. I wish the pullover had this same side panel. So if I could have a dream here, what would make the pullover perfect is to have these side stretch panels because when I am carrying the pullover, when I was doing some range drills, trying to lift that uh, to clear, you know, for drawing as a, if I was using that as a concealment garment, for example, I think having this stretch would have made that just a little bit better. So I might remove the shock cord uh, and try that a little bit, but I think having the stretch would be awesome. Now, initially, when I first got the jacket, I dreamt, I was telling Tim, the founder, I said, hey, it'd be really cool if it had side zips. You know, just kind of looking at it with, you know, sight on scene, it'd be really great if it had side zips for duty gear. Again, most of my background's in law enforcement wearing a duty belt with, you know, duty gear. And I thought, you know, this, if it ever comes in Navy, would be a great jacket with side zips. But truth be told, I wore it plenty with a duty belt. And I, uh, I guess I didn't really complain about it too much. Uh, would it be a nice addition? Sure, but is it needed? You know what, I, I will eat a little crow and say it absolutely is not needed. It does sit relatively well above a duty belt. Now, what else I like about it is you can see that the tail is longer. So when it comes down to, I think they call this like the trunk of the garment, but you can see that the tail does extend a little bit. So that helps reduce, you know, plumber's crack uh, <laughs> for those of you guys that have that issue. Uh, but it just provides a little bit more coverage when you're bending, stooping or whatever. Now, as far as durability, uh, I was really worried that the soft material wouldn't hold up, but I've worn this one, like I said, at classes. Uh, I've gone to classes as a student, as a teacher. And quite frankly, I've been really, really happy on how well this coat has held up. So really no complaints. And as far as warm and comfort, it has been absolutely a rock star. So I'm really, really happy with what I'm seeing coming from defense mechanisms. And uh, they're just producing some really, really nice stuff. Now, as far as pricing and availability, uh, it's ranging from price from 185 to 205, depending on the options. You do have the option between a pullover, and a jacket, which we've already talked about. You do have the option between a traditional collar and a hood. I generally prefer regular collars because when I need to, I'll generally wear a hat or something like that. And my personal experience with the hood uh, is oftentimes when I have that hood, it just fills up with rain, snow, whatever. And then if I do put the hood on, so I don't know, generally for me, I just put on a hat. So I like having the option just to order a collar, which I thought was great. Again, we talked about you can get the uh, patch panels and you can get the patrol features, which again, have a badge tab and radio tabs. Uh, like I talked about before, it comes in a variety of colors. They are made in the United States, in Minnesota. Most times they're made to order, so you're gonna get exactly what you want. And again, I have nothing but good things to say with the exception of my wish list for the pullover, which uh, I think they could probably make happen if I ordered like a custom garment, they might be able to, to incorporate some of those features. I'm not sure if they will or not, but I would like to see that. The only other thing that I wouldn't mind seeing is maybe some additional high chest pockets. I know for a lot of times when people are wearing plate carriers or you know external carriers or whatever, sometimes having kind of that high uh, chest pocket is nice. Or you know just a little storage area that's maybe a little easier to access wouldn't be bad. Uh, the only thing I caution you know people with is uh, especially the cops out there who wear the carriers is don't do the booby hug. You see it all the time. Cops are just sitting around at scene and they have their hands in their carrier, especially the cops that wear brown, it seems like. Just have their hands sitting in their carrier and giving themselves the booty hug. 
I just think it looks really tacky. It's unprofessional and there's some safety concerns. So just be cautious of that for those of you who wear external carriers out there. But for full information, you can check out their webpage. It is defensemechanisms.com. Again, this is the Helion jacket and type B pullover. And I have been very impressed. You're going to see me continuing to wear these on the range in various videos and stuff like that. But I want to definitely share my thoughts. If you have any questions about this or anything firearms related, go ahead and leave a comment down below, or you can send us a question to the email address shown below. That's the QA at gunsandtactics.com. And at the end of the month, we have a QA episode where we answer your questions. Plus we give away a prize, but I really look forward to hearing from you and you know, hearing what your thoughts are. I hope there's going to be more good things to come from defense mechanisms. Maybe they'll come out with like some other garments. I know they do have pants made out of the same material, and I'm hoping uh, they might have some other stuff like shells and other coats, things like that. So I think it's a really, really cool company to keep an eye on. I also do have their plate carrier with some of their pouches that I'll be doing a review on in the future, but I've been very impressed with that as well. So again, good things coming from these guys. You can tell that they are shooters. They're active in the firearms community. They are going to classes. They are conducting their own classes. They're spending a lot of time at the range to really get that real world experience on how well stuff works, which I absolutely love seeing out of a company. That'll do it for this episode. Again, if you have any questions, sound off. Email address shown below. Please check out our webpage, like, share, and subscribe. We've got new content going up all the time. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. We work really hard to make content that we hope you as a shooter would enjoy. Subscribe to our channel, check out our featured videos and playlists, and if you have a question firearms related, go ahead and send an email to the address shown on the screen to be entered into our monthly QA series.